Hey everyone, today's video we're going to be upgrading a Polaris Ranger EV. Now this vehicle originally comes with lead acid batteries and this is a 2012 model. So the newer models are available with lithium with Polaris but for this one we want to do an upgrade. The batteries we've selected are the 260 EX batteries. This should give us a total capacity of 13.6 kilowatt hours and a maximum peak horsepower of about 14 horsepowers. So plenty of power. We started off by mocking up the batteries, making sure that they can fit, and the stock spacing works fairly well. We were, and we also noticed that the stock wiring is probably going to work just fine as well. So we mocked the wiring up, made some custom wire loom, and we also added a battery equalizer to keep the batteries sort of in sync because they are in series. Once all said was, was said and done, we had the 53 volts we needed, and we were ready to get this uh, uh, new uh, Polaris upgrade in action and see how the system works. The batteries are all there and they're enabled. All right, we got four batteries in series with a equalizer, just temporary strapped. And uh, after this, customers are going to go home and redo it. But let's just see if we have enough to get it powered up. All right, maiden voyage of a electric conversion. Okay, so far, so far so good. What's it saying? So you think this will give me a true power no. indicator? <laughs> It'll always say you're 100%. <laughs> okay. let, me go get, let me go get the iPad. We'll see what they are. Give me a second. All right. So right now we're drawing like oh. 50, 60 watts just idling. Is that good or is that a lot? That's, that's not much. Okay, just, what did it take to get going? Drawing about 2,000 watts and about uh, 50, 40 amps. Just no, go to full power, high power. Oh, see high power? Yeah, let's see how much amps we're drawing at high power. 150 amps. So you're with, with that, you're within the middle range. Does it feel like normal? Feel faster? It's definitely normal. Okay. Well, you're only you're only drawing 140 amps peak. So you could have actually gotten so, you could have gotten away with the 300 s, but this is probably cheaper. You know, the, the ones without the 150 amp BMS. Oh, well, maybe it could. I see what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, 200 amps probably better because you got a little bit of headroom. Yeah, you got a governor on there. Oh, so, so there's no there's no way that you. I know it's a 30 horsepower eight motor, but there's no good. way that you would be drawing Come that in. much because a lead acid would be just puke their guts out. Now you can yeah. run like that for hours. You know, with this thing, just just wide, just yeah. Yeah. Now I mean, wide open. If you're gonna do it wide open, eventually the wiring that goes to your conductor is not gonna handle it because it's not used to pulling so many amps. Mm -hmm. But it'll definitely get you out of ruts and stuff. And that's that's all I use it for. So yeah, yeah. No, you can drop around like medium speed, high range for quite a while. Um, because see, you're only uh, drawing like I don't know six six so, like seventy watts right now. I probably run like this. Just all right. So you're drawing like thirteen amps. That's nothing. That's nothing. Yeah, you do. Okay. So I can run like that. Forty hours, probably. I don't know about forty hours. You can, I mean, you can, you can drive around for a while. This is going to be way better than the the, the lead. Yeah. You know. Now, I don't know how long you rode around before your lead started like causing problems or whatnot. But oh, I could run it all day for two days. And then you can run all this for a week then. Easily, you know. So. On the leads, you were able to get two days on the lead. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. 
Well, you should, you should, because right now you're only like puttering around like, you know, 800, 1,000 watts, you know, between 800, 1,000 watts, so it, it, it's, you're not really pushing it hard, you know. It's so like 2,000 watts, 40 amps, 70 amps. We don't have any heels, so heels probably take a little bit of... You can go up to 200 amps. 200 amps peak. Yeah, but I think your motor governor is going to stop you before you're drawing that much power. Right. There's nothing to cross. Oh, not too much traffic. Yeah, I, I, you're going to go climb something just as pull some if you power. Wanna, if you want to go quickly across the road, maybe. All right, guys. Looks like we did a successful road maiden, and the customer seems to be happy. But now we got to figure out how to get the app on. Uh, they have to figure out their their password, but uh, they're going to eventually bolt these down and do it if anyone's wondering these are 260ex batteries they have been replaced by the 275ex but still have the 200 amp bms and enough power to get it around so the Pol this is a polaris cv right the, the original polaris cv that originally came with lead acid batteries four uh four of the batteries are probably more than enough so we peaked at 150 149 amps so we have 200 amp bms's which means we can go up another 50 amps and be within the limit. So 200 amp BMS is in there and we only peaked at 140 when we we're just driving around, which means we can we can go, another, you got another 50 amp of, uh, of leeway. So maximum potential about 10,000 watts, which is about 14 horsepower. All right, then. See how the green is? Yep, it's charging, stock charger works fine, very good. So how do you know if it's putting out with it's, it's it's charging at 20 amps see how it says 20 amps oh right here yeah, yeah 20 amps is that good well, that's what your charger can do <laughs> no but is that enough for 20 amps will charge it in over yeah in a day it'll charge the whole battery over a day i, I you wouldn't need to change the charger we're yeah. good okay it's so, gonna charge yeah. so overnight oh yeah overnight you'll charge all four batteries you that's all i need didn't someone tell you you have to change the charger out yeah, some guys are saying you need to change. And they want charger. you to buy their stuff, but maybe because people are lifting, they used to, they used to charge in four or six hours, four hours. I'm good with overnight. Yeah, overnight the stock charger works. That's what comes with it. Yeah, the stock charger works, and yeah, it'll charge up to 100 percent. Yeah, it's fine. Which is fine. I mean, they're, they're, these are these are you know designed to be replacements. So awesome. you just take your lead acid out and put some lithiums in, and happy days. So I think we're good. Very good. So the original Polaris AV, not the not the lithium version, but the original lead acid version. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Now, we probably would have liked to show you videos of it actually driving around so you can kind of see, but we're in an office park, and we really can't be taking videos of other people or people crossing down the street. It just causes problems. So we just kind of glanced at it and kind of showed you the watt usage, but I can tell you that it was on the highest setting, and it still has 50, uh, 50 amps to go. So it should be able to run this thing no problem. Um, if you're looking for EV conversion, reach out to us. Our big batteries will really uh, give you the, you know, uh, relaxation and the confidence that you need. Uh, they're uh, larger than some of the other conversions out there, but you can actually get real world use out of them and uh, they'll run for a very long time. Uh, anyway, just check us out, sunfunkits.com, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.